Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman here, and today I want to talk to you about ClingNet. It's a new exciting technology that allows you to control LED pixel mapping fixtures. Now, what is ClingNet and what's the difference between DMX or ArtNet? Well, let's go ahead and explain in a nutshell what DMX does. Now, as you already know, or should know, let's say we have three fixtures here. I would address this one depending on whatever DMX values it has, then I would address this one subsequently, then I would do this one. This would connect to here, which would connect to there, and that would connect to the dongle. Now, it doesn't have to be in order, but ultimately, I have to address everything. Then I got to sit there and individually map it all out, or I can use a generator, or if I map it pixel by pixel, I have to draw on a matrix program where the pixel is going to be. Unless it has something automated, sort of like what CompuShow would have, or the new My DMX 2.0 update, it still requires a little bit of work. Let's say this fixture goes down. Well, there's no two-way communication. So if this guy went down, and it screwed everything else up, I wouldn't know where it went down at. I wouldn't know where the issue is. Uh, let's say that I needed to rotate this guy around and maybe I hooked it up in the wrong direction. Well, I got to reprogram everything or hopefully I use pallets or a rector, something that doesn't require me to reprogram everything. Alas, that's where CleanNet comes in. CleanNet is not DMX in the sense that it does not control pan and tilt. It doesn't control anything. All it sends are color values. And then the driver would interpret whatever color values it sends and control the pixels therein. So for example, we have the three fixtures here. So how do we connect them? Well, we would connect them with Ethernet cable. Cat5, Cat5e, Cat6. Clean it will accept either one of them. But what happens if I have my network? So we've got the three panels, my laptop, and I buy one more panel. Well, just daisy chain it. Problem solved. And then it'll appear on there. You can quickly map it. There's no addressing needing to be done. There's no, like for example, these are the ADJ uh, flash cling panels, right? The 64s. There's no need to address them. There's no menu, anything like that, because all the menu options are in the computer itself. So imagine you set up the light, you plug it in, you connect it, and don't need to address it. Everything's done from your computer. Makes it super easy. No more having to get up there and change DMX addresses or patch anything. It's all done from the uh, program itself. And this is exactly how it works. We have Cat5 or Cat6. Notice how there's no dongle. That's because there isn't one. It connects straight to your Ethernet jack, and the software controls everything that you need. What happens if you need to turn the panel around? Maybe you want to do a funky design. Okay, so turn it however you want. And then you can go into software and change it around as you need to. Easy. What happens if you buy a fixture that's not even related to these guys? Maybe of a whole different model in general, such as the Ultra Cling Bar. Patch it in. If it's got Cat5 or Cat6 connection, it's, and it says it's clean and compatible, it'll work with this protocol. There's two programs right now that I use that I recommend. The first one is Arceus Media Master Express. Media Master Express is wonderful because it allows you to use CleanNet and tie it in with your video shows. And if you've seen any of my work, you'll often see that I have a big video screen and then we have the panels around it or next to it or in some sort of form. And the panels also go along with the video screen. And I can even map into the panel so I can do different things throughout or have the panels and the video screen interact. The second software, as you're seeing here, is called LED Master, which is also by Arceus. This is not do video. This is right now specifically for CleanNet. So it's a lot more affordable, but really, really powerful. And the great thing about LED Master is that it's very DJ friendly and it's laid out in a three step process. The first process is to connect the panels. And right now, this is all red because they're not connected in there. But when I connect them and I turn them on, they will show up. So step one in the first square is to make sure they're all connected. And then you're going to see them on here. You lay them out however you want. You can, this is a test pattern, by the way. You can fine tune the position, rotation, uh, divisor, which we'll go over that later on. And then, of course, you have a horizontal vertical flip. So that's step one. Step two in LED Master is to find your sources. So, for example, I have some pre-made videos here. And that's on my sequence three, right? I've already made two different sequences. So that's kind of creepy. There we go. So I have one there, a sequence there, or I have this blue tunnel that I can quickly drop here. And if I wanted to, I could make a couple different rows of sequences, almost like an audio sequencing program, right? So I can go back and forth for across different ones. There's my other sequences that I've made. And then step three is profit. Basically, here it is. I can add more if I need to. 
just by clicking on that, and I can choose the sequence. And then I select it here. So let's say we have this tunnel here that I made with those two, or that sequence that I made with the tunnel and the ring. And then we've got this one over here. Okay. And now I can take my crossfader. Yeah, look, look how easy this is. I can take my crossfader, and I go there. If I want to map it to a keyboard, I can certainly do that, which is super easy. I can have visualizers that also react to sound. And then I have all my effects, so I can do all sorts of real cool built-in effects. A bunch of other options here. I can have it go to the BPM, fine-tune the BPM. And then it has like op options. I can do random play, I can do sequential, or I can do manual play mode, which is what I have. So again, this is the introduction to ClingNet. It's a new technology, just like anything else. If you've never used it before, it looks very scary. But I can promise you that within maybe an hour of playing around with this, I knew the software and the protocol inside and out. ClingNet has been designed to be so easy that anybody can do it. And my videos are going to show you how. So make sure you like the subscribe button. I promise you this is going to blow your mind away. It's going to be awesome. So again, my name's Arnold Wofferman. I look forward to showing you the power of ClingNet, it's the future, and what you can do with it. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you already have lots of great fixtures, such as multiple PAR cans or matrix effects, such as the uh, ADJ dots matrix or the matrix beam or anything like that, there's no ClingNet for those. I'm going to show you how you can use the easy cling to turn those into cling net fixtures. So you can take your PAR cans and make a wall of them and turn them into a video wall with very little effort. Promise you it's the coolest thing ever and it'll take your shows to a whole new level never thought imaginable. My name is Arnaldo Offerman. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe, share with your friends, and God bless.